Hey everybody, it's West Point checking in. Uh, I'm going to start doing a series of short, simple tutorials on uh, topics of interest. Um, I've been posting some short videos. It seems that force correlation is getting a lot of interest. So, whether you know how to do it, you've seen it in the past, forgot how to do it, don't know how to do it, this is just a brief overview. It's not meant to be technical, concise, cover every aspect because it doesn't. Uh, there's a lot of good videos out there. You all know who I'm talking about. Go look for them. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going to force correlate an AGM-65 on a SAM site. Uh, out in front of me, if you look out in the distance, we've got uh, my island of targets in the Persian Gulf and uh, we've set up an SA-3 site to hold people away from just flying in and uh, the SA-3 site's comprised of a P-19 search radar that's what's showing up right now on the RWR uh, it's also got an SA-3 low blow tracking radar and an SA-3 GOA launcher Goa launcher has about a 12 mile range. We're 22 miles out right now. This is when you want to start looking for them. You don't want to wait until you're all the way on top of them. So we're going to make our TGP soy and um, we're going to make it uh, white hot. And let's zoom in and see what we find. Uh, we can see some targets off here. And we get a target there. And here's our SAM site. We're going to zoom in, take a look. Here's our search radar. This is an old 1968 P-19 uh, spinning around. He's feeding information to this guy. This is the uh, SA-3 low blow Goa or rather low blow, which is feeding his information to the SA-3 GOA launcher. And what we want to do is we want to get rid of this guy right here because without him, the site can't lock onto us, they can't launch. And when you're force correlating, aim for the base of it right where he's touching the sand. Uh, the sand is hot and he's hot so you may have a hard time getting a lock on him with your um, with your Maverick and that's the purpose of force correlation we want to use a different methodology uh, to get our uh, weapon on top of him so let's level out here while we fly through this little cloud cover which I hope doesn't obscure our vision and what we're going to do with the TGP is soy and we've got it marked at the bottom TMS up long that makes it our SPI, our sensor point of interest we're going to go over here and we're going to make uh, we're going to select our AGM 65H hotels and then we're going to go to our Maverick and we're going to slave it to our sensor point of interest now we're going to zoom in. Now here's the important part. Put your boat switch center. Now that we're within 11 miles, TMS up short. And you'll notice that we have a lock. And rifle. Warning, autopilot. Now while we've got time, let's break away because instantly that made him angry best just to do 180. Now on an SA-3 site like this, if he launches, we can go low, go to the ground, and uh, we'll lose him. SA-8s and SA-9s, if you go low, they're going to take you out. But uh, we're going to level off here and we're going to head back through this uh, cloud or sand or whatever it is. And let's go back and follow our Maverick as it goes in. To repeat the steps again for force correlation, 
get your target on your targeting pod make your targeting pod soy put your targeting pod at the base of the target in this case it was the SA3 low blow tracking radar make it SPI with TMS up long and then make your Maverick soy slave it to your targeting pod and uh, TMS up short to get a lock and rifle and with any luck shack on the SA-3 tracking radar. So force correlation is as simple as that. Um, the key point being that uh, your boat switch goes to the center position. Uh, good luck shooting these guys. If you have any questions as to what I'm doing, drop them in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, there's going to be more of these to come. Uh, this is West Point checking out. Everybody have a good one.